On this first day of summer, yes. we're looking ahead to the coming extreme <laughs> heat. Several days of 110 degrees and above. First, yeah. meteor first alert meteorologist Paul Horton is here tonight. And that's why uh, we have a first it's alert coming. next week. It's yes. coming, yeah. First day of summer, and boy, summer hits us big time. Mm -hmm. Hit a high today of 109. Okay. And that yeah. right there is about three degrees above average. You can see a live look outside. Yeah, still pretty warm. We're still sitting in the triple digits out towards uh, the Scottsdale area. A little too warm this afternoon for golfers, but uh, as you can see around the valley, uh, conditions at around 99 in Tempe, 104 in Phoenix, and 105 currently. That's a current temperature in Peoria. So here's the satellite and radar. Notice, hey, we've got a few clouds, some showers out across eastern Arizona. We've got one low that's going to pass to the north of us that's actually going to cool things down starting tomorrow and Friday. We're going to see temperatures below average. But this evening, expect the warmer weather, mid-90s by 9, lower 90s by 11. The heat's really going to kick in next week. We'll get a look at that with your extended forecast next. Paul, thanks. Our first alert weather app will come in handy as we head into summer with the heat and the coming monsoon storms. You could check the forecast and track the radar right from your phone. New at 5, the plan to address the increasing violence at the Arizona State Hospital has fallen apart, at least for now. The governor and lawmakers gutted the proposal for more oversight there. The hospital is home to some of the sickest patients in the state's mental health system. We have reported not only on the high number of assaults happening inside, but also patient suicides, even a homicide. So Holly Bach has been following this issue for some time now. There's a push for better oversight, and now, Holly, that's not happening? Correct. So this bill would have created an oversight team, a direct, independent mm -hmm. group of five people to directly oversee this hospital. So this group would dig into some of the problems there and work on solutions. But lawmakers stripped that portion of Senate Bill 1710 after Hobbs threatened to veto it. So now it has a different aim and does not include that piece addressing more oversight. Right now, the the hospital falls under the Department of Health Services. This means the same agency both runs and regulates the hospital at 24th Street and Van Buren. Proponents of this original bill say that created a lack of oversight and independence there. Will Humble is the former director of DHS. He feels an opportunity here was missed. It's a best management practice to have to isolate the the, the regulatory functions from running the facility. And this bill did that. It's a best management practice to separate those functions so that the public can be assured that the system is working without a conflict of interest. Last year, more than 800 assaults were reported inside of the hospital. That is more than two a day. We have also told you about incidents like suicides and even a homicide there. An attorney who represents patients and staff at the hospital says these have not shown up in public inspection reports. She also had concerns about poor oversight. We spoke with, spoke with a former employee. They wanted to remain anonymous because they were assaulted while working there. They worry nothing will change. It's very disheartening, very concerning, very sad. They're there for treatment and how can we expect them to get well when this is happening? So here is what Senate Bill 1710 will do. Right now, to receive a court order for mental health treatment, you have to have a petition filed by two physicians. And now, in rural counties with a half a million people or less, someone can submit a petition for treatment from one physician and either a physician assistant or a psychiatric and mental health nurse practitioner. The bill sponsor says this will help while the state deals with a shortage of health care workers here across the state. And so we reached out to the governor to ask why she was against the oversight aspect of this bill. Her office says this was an unfunded mandate that would have increased cost without achieving her goals here. They added that she will be putting more than $3 million into next year's budget to address security there. All right, so it looks like more to come on this, yes. but you sort of alluded to this. This bill had pretty strong bipartisan support. It did, so it went through the Senate 27 to two. It also got nine out of the nine votes in the health committee. So it essentially just changed at the very last minute in the house and that's what led to these big changes. We have done a ton of stories highlighting what is going on inside of the state hospital. You can watch them all right now by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Just search AZ family. All Jared right. Holly Bach here in the studio with us tonight. Holly, thanks. New at five, a 14 year old girl from California is dead after an accident involving an inflatable raft or tube. There's a and there is a frantic search for five people who went missing while trying to explore the wreckage of the Titanic. Time is running out. 
So is the oxygen in this underwater vessel, the latest from the Coast Guard ahead at 5.30. Valley home prices are reversing course, rising again despite high interest rates. A look at the state of the real estate market next. I'm Gary Harper on your side. A Gilbert woman says she gave up her seat because the airline promised her a $1,000 travel voucher. That was 12 months ago. She still doesn't have that voucher. See if on your side can help out. That's coming up. The Extra Point weeknights at 1035 on Arizona's Family 3 TV. Did you know that bulging leg veins are not just cosmetic? They are often a health issue that can worsen if untreated. Take the first step to pain-free legs by calling United Vein Centers. Treatment is covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most health insurance. Call us today to schedule your free vein screening at one of our locations. In America, the future belongs to everyone. Let's create yours with a built Ford Tough truck. Ford F-150, designed for premium comfort, easy access, and the convenience of new technologies like available Ford Blue Cruise. It's hands-free highway driving that has earned Consumer Reports' top-rated active driving assistance system. Be future ready with Ford F-150. Get 3.9 APR for 60 months and 2,000 cash back when you order a new 2023 F-150 XLT. Visit your desert Ford dealer today. We want to thank you for acknowledging Goldberg & Osborne as the number one personal injury firm in ranking Arizona for the last three years. For more than three decades, Goldberg & Osborne has fought to get Arizonans what they deserve for their injuries. With more than 1,700 five-star reviews, Arizonans from Kingman to Sierra Vista know that after any accident, go with the Eagle. Goldberg & Osborne, 1-800-THE-EAGLE. 72 Sold is helping families across the valley sell their home in eight days or less and for thousands more. You have to hear this story. It took 72 Sold 12 hours.